remove every edge with the thickened epoxy. And it looks very good. Uh, missed a spot over there. But once we will take out all the tie wraps, uh, the gaps must be filled. And we will take this spot as well. So there's no problem at all. It took two nights to dry the epoxy because, uh, because it is a thick layer. So it needs a bit more time to dry. In the middle, the middle bulkhead, and the bow. Here it squeezed a bit out. We will grind that off later, but it looks very good. So let's take out all the tie wraps and fill the fill the holes. The grinding is done and the cleaning as well. I cleaned it with acetone. Um, I should have been more carefully putting on the epoxy in the corners, um, pay a bit more attention to it, use uh, maybe a little less um, epoxy and cleaned it uh, very well after uh, I, put it, um, I put it in because I had to grind a lot and grinding is okay but it's not my favorite job so uh, you should take extra time to put in the uh, the corners with the epoxy so that you have to grind a little bit less than I did um, it looks okay and now we will start with the um, glass fiber tape and epoxy in the corners so let's start with that so first we will cut the glass fiber tape uh, I found on the internet the glass fiber tape of 10 centimeters. In the manual of BB says uh, seven and a half centimeters, but I think uh, 10 centimeters will work as well. Uh, we will cut the glass fiber tape in a complete length, like this. A bit more. And in the corner, you can take one uh, piece uh, from top to bottom and push it in the uh, in the corner like this. Um, the glass fiber tape is flexible enough to take the corner and still looks very smooth. So you can take a complete length. Before you put on the unthickened epoxy and the glass fiber tape uh, in the corners, you should check the twist once more because the uh, glass fiber tape and the epoxy, when they dry, they will stiffen the boat and uh, th then it's no turning back. Uh, when you have um, a twist, there's no um, solution, I think, to solve that, that problem. So uh, check the twist once uh, before you put on the corners and I checked the twist as well before I did the, um, the thicket epoxy in the corners so every time I will stiffen the boat a little bit more I will check the twist again and again so um, let's go 
and I will start under the uh, um, aft seat because uh, I can practice a little bit with the um, with the glass fiber tape in the corner. Um, I don't know if you will see the the edge of the glass fiber tape once it's painted, uh, so I can practice to make a nice line of uh, of glass fiber tape. So when you will see the the line of the uh, glass fiber tape uh, once it's paint it's, it is painted, then it looks actually nice. So. Sometimes the glass fiber tape is not sticking in the uh, in the corners. It's standing wide like this. Um, I think I will wait for one or two hours uh, when the epoxy will be a bit dry and will be more sticky. Then I think I can push the the glass fiber tape in the into the corner. And if not, I will cut the glass fiber tape uh, here and. Um, push it with the uh, epoxy again into the corner. I want to show you how I did the uh, bulkhead with the um, glass tape because it will go around the corner and you have some left over here and I will cut it in. Does not matter where you cut, when you make the cut, because this part will. I made made it in the middle, and I will cut.
So, I've then done uh, all the inner edges of the bulkhead and hopefully now the corners are smooth enough for the glass fiber tape to uh, stick to the corner and front side as well. I've done the um, glass fiber tape yesterday evening and it is still sticky so um, we can use this for a second layer um, if the glass fiber is completely dry you have to grind it before you can put on the second layer but now it is still sticky and we can use that in the time frame to um, put on the second layer